Well, more parents are growing nervous about a syndrome showing up in kids, which might be linked to COVID-19. The case is a pediatric inflammatory syndrome. Well, they're up once again here in New York City to 110. News 12's Christy Reeder talking to a pediatrician at St. Barnabas Hospital about what parents should know. Another day, another uptick. I'll wager that's going to only go up and it's going to be much more widespread than anyone thinks. In New York City, the mayor's office breaking down the numbers of pediatric multi-system inflammatory syndrome. As you see, over half have tested positive for COVID or antibodies, and most cases in the Bronx, with Brooklyn coming in third. It can be deadly and scary, so how should parents react? We cannot uh, panic about it. We have to be looking for it. We have to keep an eye for all the for the fever, for all the signs and symptoms that we're talking about so we can uh, address it early. And remember, those symptoms are fever for several days, rashes, eye redness, swelling, belly pain. And if you have a concern your child is showing these, call your doctor. If you are referred to the hospital, blood work will be done looking for inflammatory markers and the possible treatment. Intravenous immunoglobulin is being used in some other cases that are being, they are using steroids. It, it depends on on case by case. It's possibly linked to COVID. You don't know right now, right? Exactly. We don't we don't know yet. Um, and uh, although most of these children are testing positive, I cannot fully say it is secondary to COVID because until we have enough numbers and enough data, anything I said could be uh, a little rush. Which is why doctors are continuing to track and share data. Christy Reeder, News 12.